nice usability feature added in RAS Studio 11.2 is the ability to see active and inactive code based on conditional defines. So here, let's add into this project a define and we're going to use debug and we're going to define an else in here as well just so we can see the difference when it's on or off. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to set the self dot caption to be hello debug world. Now you can see we have a build configuration of debug at the moment. So this is active. If we come in to the else statement, we can still see code completion is working in here. So we still have full featureability. But we can see immediately that this code is not going to be active at the moment with the configuration we have. If we swap over to the release build and come back into the IDE, we can see that it starts editing. As soon as we start editing, it's updating to the current definitions and off we go. Now this also works with your own conditional defines. So if we have a look at the project options and under the compiler, find the conditional defines. Let's add one in for foo. And we can now change this to foo and we can see that it updates to what it should be. Hello, foo world. Uh, and if we do if end def for not defined, we can see immediately it switches over to show us what is the active and inactive code. So great usability feature. And again, this works at both design time and also when you're debugging your applications, making it much easier to see and read through complex code scenarios. Mm -hmm.